So I bet you all thought that I wasn't gonna continue this series, but guess what? I am. Because I'm still a filthy homestuck in the year of 2019, and I'm gonna be a filthy homestuck for the like rest of my life. So I might as well express that while I can. So here we go. Bronze Bloods. So, how do I describe Bronze Bloods? According to the wiki, Bronze signs have a warm and generous disposition, but you might not accuse them of it the first time you meet. They have a tendency toward being withdrawn and slow to open up with new people. This can make them come off as arrogant and cold, like they think they are too good for everyone, although the reality couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, they crave validation and companionship. They are very open-hearted, but if a bronze sign decides to dig their heels in, it can be like talking to a wall, more so than any of the other sign classes. Bronze signs have a marked love of creature comforts. They crave stability and safety, and if they have the means, their homes will be full of beautiful things. Some might accuse them of being hedonistic. They would probably just claim to know what they like. As lovers, they can be quite needy, wanting assurances that the affection they feel is reciprocated. Maybe because of this, they have a particular affinity for animals? Don't try to break a bronze sign's routines. They'll resent you for it, even if sometimes they are too polite to say so. Okay, so uh, main idea is that I'm going to be going in with this orange. Aphrodite from the um, Divinity Eyeshadow Palette by Stroke Cosmetics. Priming the face, and I'm taking my detail... Illuminator Primer Oil. Then I'm gonna go in, like, I remember this stuff that I tried using before. I'm gonna go in with it again. This is the Cover Effects Glitter Drops in Mirage. I just think, like, an extra sheen will look nice. And I'm putting it under. Uh, like most of the product because it has a tendency to like um to make the to like lift the makeup so I'm gonna take this this brush here and I'm gonna like swirl the product around see if I get any interesting results that's a lot of glitter I'm gonna also go in with a cream blush but I'm gonna layer some of it, I'm gonna put it down so that it already has a base. It's gonna get covered up by the foundation anyway, so I can just go as heavy as I want. Also, this is the Samuel Cream Stick Blusher in OR01. Once again, going in with my Cleo Kill Cover in 05. And I'm gonna go in with concealer. And I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light 2.75 Canel. I'm just putting that on my eye bags and my eyelid. And then to set, I'm gonna use the Benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation in number 4. I'm gonna tap the cream bronzer again, like the cream blush again, just to get some more color. Now we're looking orange, and that's actually a good thing. Surprise. I don't really have stuff for this part, but uh, I have this single blush by The Face Shop in BR02 Toast Brown, and I'm going to contour. I might actually go in with High Score from the Sugar Pill Fun Size Palette. I'll see how that goes. And then I might put game over on top, depending on how it looks. I 
I want to add yellow, like just a tint of yellow. So I'm going to go in with uh, continue and I'm going to try and connect the orange on my nose to the orange blush on my cheeks. Let me add some of high score down on my lip as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cream blush I used earlier and I'm going to put it on my eyes. And uh, for this one, we're going to go with a dark brown eyebrow instead of a completely black one. Just because I think it'll flow better. So uh, you don't have to do this, but like I like putting Duraline in my brow pomade, which is the Benefit uh, Cabrow Gel in number 5. I just find it helps like like make everything smoother of course the the downside is like it's everything's runnier as well I'm gonna comb through my eyebrows and then we're gonna start with the bottom and make the shape on top now as I've said before my eyebrows are not like the usual shape they're kind of like mountains so we're gonna go with that and then spread this out forward. Now we match the other eyebrow. We're gonna make this a little thicker. Now um, I'm gonna put some powder on top. I'm gonna go back into the benefit and I'm gonna just lightly pat that. I'm going to take my spoolie and go through. Now for highlight. What I'm going to do. Like I'm going to go in with that um, glitter drop thing again. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. So now I'm going to go in with Aphrodite. And I'm going to be using a fluffy brush okay it's looking more reddish than orange so we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Yes Please palette and we're gonna take I don't know how to read this either way I'm taking the shade up here and I'm going to add that to the crease okay that's a little better and then we're gonna go in with a tinier brush and we're gonna go in with the dark brown we're gonna put that here like inside to deepen the crease we're also bringing it down to the lower lash line. We're gonna wing it out. And then for emphasis, I'm gonna just put some yellow on the second half. This yellow. And for extra orange, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Ultimate Brights palette go in with the shade and put that in between these two shades so I'm taking this uh, metallics uh, palette from detail makeover and I'm going in with Delta now I'm gonna try and like sort of cut the crease after like this like um, all the stuff I put over it Going back in with the concealer, I'm going to dab it on my palette, and then I'm going to apply that with a flat brush. Now we put Delta all over.
And then I'm putting uh, Nisa all over the lower lash line. And then following up with Capella, Capella on the inner corner. I'm going to take some of the orange from the NYX Brights palette and I'm going to put that below the shimmer I placed. Now for mascara, put some on the lower lashes. I'm just adding um, Delta on top of the orange I put in, in the lower lash line. Now well, for my waterline, I'm going to go in with the Clio Gel Presso Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner. And I'll be using the shade 04 Maple Bronze. And then for lashes, I'm going in with the House of Lashes Valentina. Taking my duo lash glue and taking the, the end of a brush and just putting all of that. And we are going to carefully plop these down. And then we're doing the same for the other side. And finally, we're going to do lips. This one's going to be the easiest one. I'm taking a flat glossy stick from the face shop in OR01 Punch Orange OR01 Orange Brilliant. And I'm just going to put that all over. Then I'm going to take a brush and blend it out. And then going on top with Delta, just take my finger and press. Uh, I wanted to add something else. I want to take um, Mental Mimos. Oh, I wanted to take Mimosa Sunrise from Fenty Beauty, which is like the kilowatt foil, and I'm gonna use that to highlight. Anyway, here's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed watching me go through the process. It's always fun to play with color, like doesn't matter if it's complicated or not, but you know, just being able to enjoy the whole process, like that's something that I find really important. Anyway, this is the finished look for my bronze blood makeup. I hope you enjoyed the process. I'm blinking a lot, I don't know why. Don't mind that but I do hope you enjoy it like I like personally I like mixing like colors a lot more like playing with the rainbows but there's nothing wrong with experimenting with something a little more um, cohesive you know like that's why I want to do the series it's pretty fun so anyway I hope you'll um, stick around for the rest of the series bye bye